my parents gave us some zucchini, a lot of it, and we have made zucchini brownies, zucchini bread, um, we have a bunch in the freezer grated up for zucchini bread and brownies, but we wanted to try something different, so I was on Pinterest and they have something called zucchini candy, and basically, you chop it up, and I saw multiple sizes depending on the recipe, so we're doing about that big. So you chop it up, or you peel it, chop it up, de-seed it, and then we are cooking it in pineapple concentrate. We have some other flavors in the freezer to try. But so basically you cook it for about a half hour until it's gone translucent and it absorbs all those flavors. And then you dehydrate it. And what you should get is kind of a chewy gummy candy that has taken on the flavor of whatever juice you've put it into. So we haven't made this before. This is totally new to us. We'll see how it goes. This is also the first time we're going to be using our new dehydrator. So, are you excited about it? You think it'll be good? Yeah? Okay, Kurt has a bunch of these trays full. As you can see, it's cooked to where it's translucent. It looks like chunks of pineapple. And then we have our second go in here. Hopefully we have room in the dehydrator. The kids are excited. I'm hoping it'll taste good. They look pretty. We'll see how small they get. Second batch is done. You can see it's cooked down a lot, and we actually did add water to this one um, and a little bit to the other one just to give it enough liquid, so we're not going to have hardly any left, but that's fine. They all look as they should, just like chunks of pineapple. My camera will focus. There we go. They just look like chunks of pineapple. And I just unplugged it. It's been just a smidge over eight hours. I think that they'll take longer, but I'm going to check them at the eight hour mark anyway just to make sure we don't overdo it. Okay, that's what they look like. They're supposed to be dry, but still tacky. And I'm not sure that I would call that dry exactly. It's pretty, pretty gummy there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this again, and then I'm gonna have somebody try this and see if they think it's done. I'll see if I can nab Kurt before he heads out to his office. They're done. It took about 11 hours in the dehydrator. They look quite different from when they go in. Um, the kids tried them and Kurt tried them. Kurt and Ruben like them. The other three aren't sure that they do like them. Um, we did coat a few of them in some powdered sugar because one of the pages that I looked at recommended doing that and Kurt tried it and he said it really didn't do much for it so um, I'm probably not going to do that with the rest of them. We'll just pull them off and put them in baggies and keep them in the fridge for the kids to eat. They're supposed to be good for about two weeks in the fridge. I will link both of the blog posts below that I kind of pulled information from. I didn't do it exactly like either one said to but I read them and got a general idea of how to do it and I just went with it. So there you go, zucchini candy. It does not taste like pineapple, Kurt said. It just tastes kind of fruity, so don't expect pineapple, but you can use any flavor you want. And one site used pineapple, another site used like blueberry juice and very berry juice and cranberry juice, so it just depends. But that's it. If you have extra zucchini, it's probably worth trying. You'll probably do it in an oven if you don't have a dehydrator too. Yum. You like it? Mm-hmm. Do you like it better with the powdered sugar or without? I don't know. The powdered sugar one pretty much tastes the same. Pretty much? Mm. Yeah. Those aren't for you, Fred. Mm.